Uh, my name is Kat Nolan and I'm a PhD candidate here uh, in the Department of Integrative Biology at the University of Guelph. And today I'm here to tell you about my PhD research called Bloom and Barcodes High Throughput Assessment, sorry, High Throughput Biodiversity Assessment of Freshwater Harmful Algal Blooms. So harmful algal blooms, or HABs, are a globally increasing threat to the health of freshwater ecosystems. HABs are caused by microalgae, which are single-celled photosynthetic organisms that can live in freshwater, marine, and even terrestrial environments. The abiotic contributors to HABs, like changes to phosphorus and nitrogen content, pH, and temperature, are well understood, um, but there's a bit of a knowledge gap regarding the biotic context for HABs. What is happening in the microbial community as HABs progress and as HABs form? So before I can address that knowledge gap around the biotic context for HABs, I need to first establish a method for monitoring uh, microalgal biodiversity. And I've decided to pursue DNA metabarcoding to do this. However, we have problems uh, metabarcoding microalgae because uh, microalgae are extremely diverse and they are lacking, many species are lacking reference sequences in the reference libraries. Um, additionally, we don't have any single established primer set uh, for barcoding microalgae. So to address this, um, I have been developing a method for isolating and DNA barcoding microalgae from the environment. Um, it involves this 384 well plate assay um, and fluorescent monitoring of algae cells. So I isolate algae from the environment, DNA barcode them with three markers, 23S, 16S, and 18S, uh, to build this reference library. Um, so last summer, I collected samples at weekly intervals from a uh, small municipal lake here in Athens, Ontario, called Ferry Lake. Um, and I have been collecting water samples as well as eDNA samples from this lake. From the water samples, I've been isolating microalgae, and I've been storing the eDNA samples for using for metabarcoding later down the line. Um, so I've been working to DNA barcode the samples that I've isolated, as well as microalgal strains that I've purchased from professionally curated phycology collections. Um, so far, I've barcoded several strains with the 16S and 23S primers, um, and now I'm moving into barcoding with the 18S marker. Um, in, on the left here, you can see a few of the green algae strains that I've isolated. It's been very fun <laughs> um, isolating and building this culture collection. So uh, to get back to my question surrounding the biotic context for HABs, I'm planning to use the barcodes that I've generated from environmental isolate strains to metabarcode the environmental DNA samples collected from the same habitats that I collected the isolate samples from. Um, the pairing of the eDNA sampling with the collection of microalgal strains for isolation um, will allow me to match specific sequences in my metabarcoding runs back to individual strains that I've taxonomically identified and isolated. So this work is significant and applicable in many areas. Um, by barcoding these monocultures and isolating strains, I'm contributing to important reference libraries that will benefit future microalgal barcoding work. Also, by developing and validating high throughput microalgal isolation methods, whoops, um, I'm setting the stage for future research in this area and generating a valuable culture collection that can act as a genomic resource for future studies. Um, I'm hoping that this work will improve our capacity to monitor and conserve our valuable freshwater ecosystems. Um, and with that, I'd like to thank my advisory committee, uh, as well as the myriad undergraduate students who have helped with my research. Uh, I want to acknowledge that this work was carried out on the treaty lands and territories of the Michisagig and Anishinaabeg. And finally, I want to acknowledge the several funding agencies who have supported my research. Thank you so much.